Hi guys, it's Ange from AMG Artorium. I'm going to do a little painting of a barn today. And I've just put white gesso on. It's an acrylic paint, so it's really watered down, and I want my canvas to be fairly wet still. So that's just white, and there's still white on my brush. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of blue. So it just looks like that. And we're going to go here, and we're just going to kind of bring it down like that. And then I need a bit more blue. And then one over here. I'm going to put some more blue on that one. And then I'm going to wash that brush, dry it off really nicely, so it's all, it's still wet, but it's kind of dry, drier than it was anyway, just going to go back and forth real gently, there's a nice hair on my painting already, I'll take that off, Maybe it was a bristle actually, which is a boar hair. So there's that, and then we're going to pick up some white, and we can just kind of start to make the clouds appear at the edges with the white. I could have used a smaller brush for this, just so you can see how the clouds would be there if they're not. It's just kind of washing into the blue. Mm. Maybe one more over here. So I'm going to wash my brush. It's a pretty simple sky this that I'm doing here. So we're just going to gently go back and forth again. And there we have it. Don't mess with it too much, you know, like it. I'll actually put a bit more blue right there. Okay. Put the white guy there. Ah, good enough. And I'm rinsing my brush again, and I'm going to switch brushes, and I'll fix some brown up. I'll put some on my fingers so you can see the color. It's like pretty red, but brown. And then I mixed it with white, and I got this kind of a pinky brown color. And I'm just going to very lightly start to put in the indication of some hills back here. But it's a farm, and farms are pretty uh, level, usually. <laughs> okay, so there's some hills. It gets lighter and lighter as it goes away, so you can keep taking it up if you want. To give yourself a bit more room in the horizon. Yeah. darker ones here. I can fix that after. So I'm switching brushes again. Going to just a nice flat flat brush. Picking up the dark brown. Actually I'm a little bit darker than that even. So it's almost black. Almost. I still want some brown in there. Oh no. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. So I'm going to put a barn in here. I want the opening is going to be about here, like the front of it. It's a big barn. Big, big barn. And we're going to go like 
that generally just putting in the indication of where we want it and then we're going to block in so again this is the front of the shed you can see the black and the brown is almost black it's not real important what it looks like at this point because we're going to put paint on it anyway but now the roof we want to go and up And then up. Okay, so I'm going to change that. We're going to do one of those weird barns that kind of has a side peak. Does that even look right? Okay, let's just start putting in the roof. really see the red. This is kind of looking wonky, but we'll fix it. Yeah. I want to keep the same edge, or the same angle, I should say, so that your roof doesn't look funny. Okay, now this is going to come straight down, but at a bit of an angle because it's going backwards. That way. So then these boards will go this way. And then of course, oh no. See, that's what we have fingers for. And also it kind of just blends into the background, which is nice. It's kind of awkward because there's a camera in front of me here. It's hard to get the right angle. But, um, actually, that would be down here, wouldn't it? Okay, so yeah, you can see it's a barn. Now I'm going to make it a red roof barn, because I like red roof barns. And because it's kind of a reddish brown underneath, and I'm using the same red, it doesn't matter if you get a lot of red on it, because the further you go away, it's not going to be quite as visible. I just messed that up, but that's okay, I'll fix it. Let me just go, whoop. that's way too much paint, guys. Our barn just got bigger. Like Bob Ross always said, happy accidents. I mean, fudge. It's hard to do from this angle, but you get what I'm doing. Okay, how's my camera? Because I just kicked you. I'll reset you there. Okay. And now I'm going to use a bit redder, a bit darker than we did the background, but we're going to make this the lighter side, I think. I think the sun is actually hitting here. More than it is the other side there. So that side over there is going to be a lot darker. So that's kind of what we're looking at. It's kind of on an angle. And I might have to retouch that after we're done, but, shoot, there, see, the roof. We're going to go straight up and over, and then it comes right up to here, right? Sure, why not? Okay. Now I'm going to get my knife. We're going to kind of start to make 
boards visible. One goes there. Make sure they're straight or your barn is going to look like it's falling down, which some of them are, so maybe you want that. Like that board's really wonky. But that's okay. Maybe that's what he likes to be like. Maybe this whole barn is just about falling down. We don't know. Okay. Nope, I just took all the paint off there, so that's okay. We're going to have to fix that roof. got a really pointy end still. And actually, that's the one I was using, yeah? I just want to make those disappear a little bit. They're a little bit much. A little too bright. And for the roof. Okay, I'm going to probably be in your way for a minute. We're going to go pretty straight and then up. And then pretty straight, pretty straight, pretty straight. And angled. And there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to come in here again because I don't like those stripes very much. Now with the red, I'm going to try to rip a little bit. And as you get closer, you're going to see this more, so that's why I started at the far end so I could get some, see what it's going to do. I like, I guess, shingles is what they're wanting, or just ridges in an aluminum roof, maybe. Whatever. I'm going to try to get that line clean. Just to give it a bit of texture. some black and we're gonna put a big door here oops we need more black than that and this barn has windows that's what those are supposed to be Okay, it looks okay. And we're gonna tighten up the edges with our knife. I picked up some white. And I don't know if I can do this from this far away, but we're gonna see this edge. But not the front edge as much. to basically end right there. I'm going to brighten it up so that my ground color kind of matches. Huh, we have to take that up a bit more. Yeah. 
Oops. I forget to pay attention to the camera. You're still okay. Alright. Arm. Now we're going to put in a bunch more dirt. Oops, it's getting darker. Like here. It should be fairly dark behind. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> I say that a lot. But this is just the muddy ground that is everywhere on a farm. It's a little too dark, so we're going to do a bit of mixing right on the canvas. But now I'm just adding color to the back so that we can add the other stuff, which is a fence and um, a laneway, maybe. Need somehow to get to the barn, right? I'm painting my easel, which is perfect. It was a brand new one. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, so we got mostly everything covered. Now I am adding more yellow. Because we want it to be almost green. But really it's just kind of burnt grass, okay? That's what we're doing. It's going to get brighter as you get closer. a lot on my brush, so we're going to just uh, so you wouldn't see the grass way back there, but we're going to just do that. Okay. And I want some more color up in there. This is not one of my favorite paintings so far. It's okay. I'll have to put a lot more detail into that barn. But it probably will not be on this video. You'll be getting a general idea of how to do a barn. And then you can finish it however you want. Like, that's obviously not supposed to be there. What was wrong? And my roof needs to be firmed up a little bit. But other than that, this is looking better. So now I'm taking my flat one again and I put brown on one side, the dark brown, and I run it through the white on the other. So it's white and brown. Well, reddish brown. And we're going to start putting a fence in. Whoops. Okay, you don't see very much brown, so I'm going back in with the brown. Huh, these look really fat pet fence posts, don't they? Need more brown. Jeez. I don't know, maybe these aren't fence posts. Yeah, I don't like that. So this is what we do when we don't like something. It's gonna become the dirt because everything matches and you just gotta go back in with the fan brush and kind of blend everything together again. It's like we did. 
There we go. So, didn't like that. Gonna go get some black and some of my brown. So my knife is just a bit black. Go there. Oops. So this is a telephone pole, not a fence. My knife's not working. So I'm going to use one of these. Such a weird angle I'm painting at. I'm getting big ones again. There, 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 there. This guy is just going off in the distance. But, okay. And this guy, I want him to come this way. That one's crooked. Too crooked there, that's okay, because fence posts are crooked. Happy accidents. Okay. Now we go this way. Very often they just pick cedar out of the woods to do this with, so don't try to make your wood too straight, because they never were straight. What's happening is kind of neat, and I like it. The paint underneath is coming off, so it makes it, it's making me have a highlight without doing anything. Yay! Okay, so that one has to come up a bit, I guess. Um, has to be another one right here. There we go. Pew. Sound effects really help. Shoot. That just went all wonky on me. Sometimes they have that too, instead of just the big long thing. Don't want too much detail up here because it's way off in the distance. Okay, so this one's got to go this way. but we'll figure it out. So I'm going to try to put these back in with some highlights, the fence posts, because you can barely see them. So this is white that I'm using. I don't need more white because I just picked up some black. Eternal humming for you. Okay. Boom. 
going down to a small one, one of these flat brush. I want that end to be a lot darker than it is. So I might actually start going up this way with this guy. You can put shading in because obviously it's going to have some shade if the roof is there. Red right, right there. That's okay, I like the red. Let's <laughs> just straight up black now. Go in and kind of shadow the roof a bit. Okay, so I'm a little happier with that bottom. Don't let those things go straight up in center though. Front and center, I should say. They look pretty ugly. <clears throat> there. Maybe it makes sense. Now, I think this is going to go this way, too. Just to uh, make something in the foreground there. And so if you're watching me to learn how to paint, I want you to just take hints from me and get the general idea of how to do certain tricks and then make it your own. I don't expect your painting to look exactly like mine and I hope you don't either because that's not how art is. And I mean, mistakes happen but they're happy so you don't have to worry. And if it's really bad, just scrape off what you can and paint over it. Everybody's done that, that paints. I would think. <laughs> I don't know. I have. This fence looks wonky because I'm painting into that. But there you go. That is my little barn. I don't like that end though. So then it just happens that I'm going to have to edit it a whole bunch because I am kind of picky. But that's how you do a barn in a nice little uh, farm type setting. And if you want this to be a driveway, you can just uh, let's make it a little dirt trail. Of course, it gets bigger as it gets to you. So make sure it's going smaller as it gets over to the barn. There you go. Oh, I didn't finish my pole. Let's finish my pole. <laughs> Gotta have hydro. Well, no, you don't, but this place has had hydro at some point. Little signature. A 
my signature. <laughs> M. I like to make my signatures hard a bit because nobody wants to look at a big signature. So there you have it. I'll try to get on here a lot more often and I'm missing half my painting there. There you go. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.